Hey everybody, I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV, and today I'm going to show you the 2020 Retro 179 series. Now this one is the Silver Dream package, so you notice it's got the silver and the black underneath and some cool extra features I'll tell you about. It weighs about 3,400 pounds, it's around 20 feet long, and you can expect to pay around 19,000 for this trailer. Now with the Silver Dream package, that bumps it up about $1,000, but well worth it with all the nice features that are on it. So, if you'd like to see more of our walkthrough videos, subscribe to our channel and you'll get notified whenever we do some new walkthroughs. Now let's go inside and get started. So the inside of this 179 is just as stylish as the outside. With the Silver Dream package, you get this wonderful slate interior and the wood plank vinyl flooring. There's a few other features that you get. I'll show you those as we go along. The dinette up front, very comfortable seating. You actually have some storage behind the other side, but you can also use that as a shelf. Windows on all three sides. I love the open feeling of that. White tabletop gives it a nice, fresh, clean look, and it matches the solid surface countertop in the kitchen. Now the panel to the left, as you walk in the door, is going to have the monitor on it that's gonna give you your, uh, the status of your battery. It will also tell you about your fresh black and gray tank levels. Now, this is gonna have a 39 gallon fresh water tank, 32 gray, and 17 black. All very easily visible right here on this panel. The water heater is gonna be gas right here on the left, and the water pump is on the right. Remember, this has an 11 foot awning on the outside that you saw at the intro shot. All you do is push the button, put that out, and it's got a great LED light. We'll show that to you at the end of the video. And then your outside patio light switch and an interior courtesy light switch. Very simple right here when you walk in the door, just above this countertop extension for the kitchen. All right, let's take a look at the kitchen. So that silver dream package gives you this solid surface countertop. You can see it's got the black line running through it. Just gorgeous a little uh, vinyl tile look in the back. This glass top stove you'll find in all of the retros and it gives you the countertop that you need if you're not using the stove. But to use the stove, this simply pops up and folds back out of your way. Now this has the iron grate on top of this three burner stove that's easily removable to clean this. I love the feel of it. It has a very residential feel and the optional oven. The hood vent above that has the light and the fan and the microwave. And those are standard features in the retro. This has a single sink with the spout faucet. Now inside this is gonna be the stainless steel aluminum sink. Storage above it. The 110 plug is right here, so if you had a coffee maker or something on the counter, you put it right here on the counter and plug it in under the cabinet. Storage under here. There is a shelf, so you've got two different spaces there for storage. Next to the sink is a corner piece. Now, this is a permanent piece, not a fold-down piece. So you could actually set some appliances here as well, or just have anything extra that you needed in the kitchen, gives you a little more space there. Now I love the walk around bed, so let's move to the back of the trailer and look at that. Now this walk around queen bed gives you all kinds of storage around it and windows on both sides for ventilation. Now one of the upgrades that you get in this Silver Dream package is instead of mini blinds, 
there are pleated shades. This slate has the dark pleated shades here, so it makes for a nice blackout if you need that. Goes right up into this uh, covered valance. I love the style of that. And these hanging cabinets on both sides. Got an acrylic panel on the inside of these cabinet doors, makes them very stylish. Storage here, and it is not a divided storage, so you could fit something long across in there if you wanted. There are two LED lights. All of these lights in the ceiling are LED lights with a button in the middle to turn them on and off. So great for reading in bed, and great storage under the bed as well just lifts right up here and you've got a huge storage compartment very accessible all right now let's look on the other side of this walk around bed so on the other side of the bed you've got the same configuration here with the stereo up above and that is going to have Bluetooth capabilities speakers inside and outside the actual cubbies in front here, they're very difficult for me to show you, but we'll get some shots of them. They are going to have 110 plugs and 12 volt plugs and USB ports for you to charge your phones, plug in anything that you need back there, and have a place to put your reading glasses, your book, anything else. Now there is an extra cabinet right here on the front. Let's take a peek in that. Three different shelves. Great for those miscellaneous clothes. The countertop up here, flat screen TV. Now this flat screen TV is part of the Silver Dream package as well. The controls right under the TV will, will actually turn on and off the furnace. This has a 20,000 BTU furnace, so it will keep you toasty warm in the winter. Also, We'll talk about it on the outside. They use radiant barrier insulation, so that's gonna help as well. All right, now we've made it around. We're gonna talk about the refrigerator because you'll notice it looks a little different than most refrigerators. It's gonna be uh, a 12 volt refrigerator. Now, before you panic about a 12 volt refrigerator, let's talk about this. First of all, it's got a very sleek look. I love the stainless steel feel. It has a coating on it, so it's going to be very cleanable, very easy to uh, maintain. And it's a 10.7 cubic foot refrigerator. So when you look inside, it is just huge compared to what you would find in this size trailer most of the time. Now, how can they do that in here? Well, it's because it is 12 volt. Um, it runs strictly off the battery. Now, before you panic, let me explain that this is a compressor driven refrigerator. You've got some great advantages with this. One of the biggest advantages you have of this refrigerator is it actually is going to get down to temperature in a matter of hours. A regular refrigerator that you find in most RVs can take 12, 14 hours to actually get cold. That's why we plug them in the night before, right? Well, this one's going to get cold very fast and it's going to do it very efficiently. How efficient? Well, a uh, battery is going to last about eight to 10 hours when it's cooling this refrigerator. If you're plugged in at your house, it's going to actually be charging that battery. So you'd be fine. If you're plugged in at the campgrounds, same thing. And think about this when you're driving down the road, this is going to be cool as you want it to be. You're not going to have to worry about whether that 12 volt can keep up and your battery's going to be recharging as you drive down the road. Now, if you wanted to boondock, all you do is plug in a nice solar panel, keep those batteries charged, and you can run this continuously. Now, there's some other advantages to having a 12 volt compressor refrigerator as well. The first one, obviously the space. They don't need all that venting on the outside and all that space to get the heat away from your refrigerator. That's how they're able to make this large size. You don't have that vent on the outside to attract bugs, rodents, any of that. Super cool. You know, another big advantage of this is that it doesn't have to be perfectly level. It's still gonna run great. 
Now, what's the disadvantage? Well, the one you're going to be thinking about is that you do have to be sure you maintain your batteries. For people who camp in campsites, that's not going to be a problem. If you're boondocking, again, you may have to buy a little extra gear and get a portable solar panel to keep those batteries charged in order to keep your refrigerator going. The other downside, it actually makes a little bit of noise just like your household refrigerator. That compressor makes a little noise, whereas the heat exchange refrigerator that you may have in other RVs doesn't make any noise at all. I think it's a very nice trade to have a 10.7 cubic foot refrigerator. Most units this size, four or five, maybe six cubic foot. It's awesome. So rethink how you feel about 12 volt refrigerators and take a look at this. It is a great addition to the industry. You're going to be seeing more of it. All right, enough of that. Let's keep going on this trailer. Up above me, you will see the 13.5 BTU air conditioner. Gonna keep you super cool in, even in the Texas heat that we have down here. Let's step back and in between the dinette and the kitchen, you're gonna have a nice spacious bathroom. Now the bathroom in this 179 is a corner shower. It's got a skylight in the top. The shower head has an on off hand switch so you can turn the water off. It does have a pull around curtain on it. The toilet is on the left in the corner and the sink on the right has a nice medicine cabinet, a 110 plug right there for any appliances you need in the bathroom and a nice storage underneath. So this is a great trailer for two people. You do have the fantastic fan a high-powered fan in the ceiling right here and that's going to circulate the air if you're not running your air conditioner or if you just want to vent the trailer. That is an option as well on this trailer. Not part of the Silver Dream package but it is an option. All right, well the dinette makes a bed. You have a queen bed over here. You can take an extra person with you, have a very nice spacious trailer, get that retro feel. Let's take a look at the outside. All right, now that you've seen the inside, you know that the inside and the outside are both super stylish with this silver and black kind of decor feel. As you come out the door, there's a 110 plug just to the right, the vent for the overhead stove vent -a hood. This is gonna be the furnace vent. Take a look at the speakers up there. Those are the speakers for that Bluetooth stereo we saw above the bed. I love the blue lights in them. Now these speakers are an upgraded style with the extra blue LED lights. That is part of the Silver Dream package, as is the lighting strip that's in the awning. 11 foot awning, we'll show you that at the end of the video. Another thing you'll find in the Silver Dream package is they have these nice black and silver aluminum wheels. All right, let's take a look at the pass-through storage in the back of this. This pass-through storage goes all the way through and it, it actually right now is going to have our 30 amp cord and the crank for the stabilizer jacks because you have four, one on each corner. And then you'll also have another crank for the override on the power jack in the front. I'll show you that in just a minute. Coming around the back of the trailer, I like to remind people that this is an aluminum frame trailer. We talked about that radiant barrier insulation. Super nice feature, helping to keep it even cooler and uh, really also working well to keep the heat in in the winter. LED taillights. It is pre-wired for a backup camera, if you want to add that. I love the four inch square tube bumper. It's something that can be used for mounting other accessories on the back. Sewer hose can fit on the inside. And around the driver's side here is the other side of that pass-through storage. 
That can come down here. Oh, just such a beautiful color with this silver and black on it. Let's take uh, a look up here in front of the wheel at the, the portals that they have here. Of course, there is a connection here for a satellite or for cable TV, if you happen to be at a park that has that. Remember we talked about adding solar to keep your battery charged for that 12-volt refrigerator? Well, there is a port right here for a suitcase-style solar panel. Now, they make them in all different sizes. I've seen them ranging from about 40-watt solar panels up to about 280-watt solar panels. They're very convenient to carry. They fold flat like a briefcase. And you just open them up, plug them in right here, and they're going to be charging your battery. Super simple to use. This 30-amp cord is going to be very standard. Uh, just plugs in right here, and that'll connect you to the electricity at the campsite. Your 39-gallon freshwater tank can be filled right here, but if you want to connect directly to the hydrant, your city water fill is directly underneath that. Now let's look at your sewer hookups underneath. You've got your low point drains right here, as well as the hookup for the sewer dump the black and gray designated by the handles here. So everything is all in one place and very simple to use. Now all the retros are gonna have an outside shower. This one has the handheld with obviously the, the off and on switch on the handheld piece. And then hot and cold, very easy. The water heater vent in front of that and another storage compartment. This would be a great place for your outside gear that you're gonna be using. All right, moving around to the front of the trailer, the retros are gonna have a diamond plate rock guard on the front. This one is painted black to match the style of that trailer. Porch light on the front. The black cover has two propane tanks. Now they're gonna be the five gallon, 20 pound tanks and the battery will go right behind that. This electric jack is an option on this trailer. Uh, it has a light and the switch for going up and down. And of course, this little knob on the top is simply if your battery dies and you need to raise or lower this electric jack, there is a crank you just put right down in there and you can raise and lower your trailer that way. All right. So I think we've pretty much covered the outside of this trailer. Let's show you how this awning works. So this 11 foot awning is just a push of a button. You push the button on the inside, remember that panel just to the left as you walk in the door, and the awning is gonna go out and fully extend. And you will see that at the beginning of the awning, there is an LED light strip. Lights up the whole area underneath your awning. It's just wonderful, and that is part of the Silver Dream package. When you're ready to put your awning away, all you do is push the button, and it comes right back in again. So simple to use, you'll want to use that awning everywhere you go. All right, well, I am so glad I got to show you this 179 Retro. It is the Silver Dream Edition. I love this trailer. I think it looks so modern, so retro, all at the same time. Anyway, I'm PJ, Princess Craft RV here in Round Rock, Texas. Thanks for watching. Uh, remember, subscribe to our channel if you want to see more walkthrough videos, and I will see you next time.